cannot express the joy I feel knowing that from this moment forward, you are mine and I am yours. I promise to love you fiercely and to stay with you always, no matter what. We have been through pretty much everything at this point <laughs> over the years, and I've learned that you and I make a pretty decent team. <laughs> so <laughs> I vow to approach life in its twists and turns head on and always together. We are so blessed to have held on to our love. It wasn't always easy, but nothing could be harder than being without you. I promise to remember the simplicity and pureness of our relationship, even as it grows and evolves with each new day. In the extended versions of my vows, I would be listing all the reasons why you are so amazing. Your empathy, curiosity, enthusiasm, so on. But this is the short version, so I will simply vow to remind you of all of your strengths whenever you feel weak. Patrick, you are one of the only people I know who seeks the truth, even if it counters your opinions or ideals. And then you actually change your outlook to reflect your new collection of information. I promise to remain open-minded, positive, and ready for change. <clears throat> Most importantly though, as we start this new chapter, I vow to keep God at the center of our life together. With God, nothing is impossible. So let's keep that as a comfort and encouragement always. Caroline. I love you like Jesus loved the church. You have been my best friend, confidant, and my greatest challenge. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, okay. <laughs> but most importantly, you are the love of my life, and you make me happier than I could ever imagine, and feel more loved than I knew was possible. I cherish your unique outlook on life and your acceptance of me as I stand. I promise to encourage you and inspire you and to laugh with you and to comfort you in times of sorrow, struggle, and joy. I promise to be faithful and supportive and to make our family's love and happiness my priority and joy.
my mom would always tell me anytime he we went to the store, like my mom and him alone, and she would, you know, offer to get him something like small, he would never not ask and get something for me too. It's just the kind of person he's been since he was like two years old. So he obviously has a very tender and thoughtful heart. Many times Patrick was a part of my family vacation at Lake Hope. I have great memories being with Patrick, his dad, mom, sister, Catherine. I think of them as a second immediate family. Patrick is lucky to have Uncle Mike and Aunt Joe's parents. Kind and loving and very easy people to talk to. They like parents to me as well. We truly just genuinely love you guys with our whole heart. And I hope you guys know that no matter what you go through, Pat and I will always be here to just support you through thick and thin. And we are just so happy. And yesterday, for those of you guys that weren't at the rehearsal dinner, there was double rainbows. And I'm all about it. I'm like, I prayed for double rainbows for them. Being here at the farm where I grew up and where my siblings all have fond, fond memories. Um, just delightful to all be back here. And share the love that's always been here and um, continue forward with the grace and gratitude that we've all been taught and to support each other you know and before i sit down i just have one more task <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's an honor and a, it's an honor to me to Ask all these ladies and gentlemen here to raise their glass and uh, have a toast to Caroline and Patrick. May their life be and friendship be long, happy, and healthy. Cheers.
I pronounce you married as husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride. <laughs>